Hello, I'm Joe Varnell with Greenville Marine Outdoor Shop, and I'd like to welcome you to the 2017 Greenville Marine Bass Trail. For 2017, we're doing something a little bit different. We're going back to our roots, back when we started in 1998, and all seven of our tournaments this year are going to be at rivers, no lakes. The guys are really excited about doing that. I'm excited about seeing the fish wade in, and I'm ready for it.
How did I turn out? Yeah. Uh, we caught fish all day. Had a good day. No big ones. You had a good day? What, 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 what'd you do? We caught, we fished the creeks off the, uh, off the Tar River. Probably caught 25 keepers, just no big fish. What'd you stick with fishing today? Uh, mostly float worm and a plastic. Are you happy with the weight you finished with? Yeah, I'd have took it before I come down here. Twelve ninety-two. Hold that big one. About I said thirteen pounds. Hold that big one up at least. Hold a couple of them. Is your partner here? Fish. Four sixty. Four sixty. Does that take it? Uh, with forty five boats, we pay six places, one for every seven. So in six place today with five fish that weigh thirteen point eighty three. They get a check for one eighty five. Jason Tripp and Justin Chamber. Today's product spotlight, I'd like to talk to you about something that everyone should be aware of and that's protection from the sun. Hook performance sun protection clothing is something every fisherman should have. Now Hook has several products out there, it covers you almost from head to toe. Uh, the shirt I'm wearing is one of my favorite, it's a zippery collar shirt. The, the collar back gives you a little extra protection. All these shirts give you extra protection from the, from the sun, keeps you from getting sun cancer. But these shirts also offer you a form of cooling. It's, it's actually cooler wearing these long sleeve shirts than just a short sleeve cotton t-shirt. Uh, they even have a line called ice that has a, a cooling effect when it gets wet. So it actually drops your body temperature by a certain number of degrees. Uh, they have long sleeve, they do have short sleeve, they have some with collar, some without. 
They even have some with hoodies. This one here just happens to be my favorite. Now one of the most important or useful items that hook fishing has is this face shield. You can use it several different ways and I'm going to try to show you how you can use it. Of course it works as a net gaiter to cover your neck from the sun. And most guys what they'll do is they'll pull it up over their face to protect their face and even their nose. And your ears. And you can wear it like this up over your hat and it helps keep it in place. Some guys prefer to have the hat on top. But either way, it keeps that neck in place, covers your face, ears. You don't have to wear sunscreen, and it's really cool. Five and five. Fourteen forty seven. Fourteen forty seven. Not for long. Big fish. Forty three. Four fifty. Four. Four fifty. I am Five and five. Nine pounds. Eleven seventy six. Eleven seventy six. Five and five. Twelve twenty. Twelve twenty. Five and five. Twelve ninety six. Twelve ninety six. Thank you. Five and five. Eighteen fourteen. Eighteen fourteen. Eighteen fourteen. Eighteen fourteen. Eighteen fourteen. Go. So you came in today and, and, and how would you feel? I felt like we had about 13 pounds. <laughs> well, what did you end up with? Just over 18. So that makes you have the new leader. How does that feel? So it's temporary. I, I'll tell I'm you in a little while. <laughs>
Okay, I'm here with Robin Bowen and Steve Bishop. Third place finishers there. Had a nice bag, almost almost 15 pounds. These two guys know Pamico and Tall River. Uh, they had a nice big fish today too. They got a big fish pot, two good checks. Over $1,000, not a bad day, guys. Thank you. Appreciate it. Now, you guys fish down here a lot. Uh, was today a, a kind of a business as usual day for y'all? Y'all do something different? Well, we had to run around a lot. Started out and wound up up this river. All right. You guys catching fish on any one certain bait or was it just kind of a jump pattern? It was all jump. All jump. All jump. Well, that's where I like oh, fish. Catch exactly. one on this, catch one on that. Well, what did you catch your biggest fish on? Top water. Top water. Yeah. All right. Well, if you had to say there was one thing today that was the key, the one thing that really kept y'all from not having a check to coming up and getting two good checks, what would it be? Good decision. Good decisions. Good That's decisions. That's it. That is very important because I can look back on a lot of times I've, I've messed up in where I made, I zigged when I should have zagged and right. knew it on the way home or didn't know it on the water. So y'all made the right decision throughout the day. That's great. Congratulations, guys. That was Thank a nice you. bag of fish. Good to see you, Jay. Way to go, guys. Right, I'll man. see y'all next term. Appreciate right. it. Thank you. with me here Tommy Hughes and Bobby Clark they came in second place today they had a nice bag of fish 1482 that's a mighty good bag for the Tar and Pamico Rivers guys was this a easy day for y'all or a hard day uh, hard hard <laughs> yeah. but it doesn't sound like it might lose your weight but I know it can be a hard to piece together pattern sometimes uh, you guys fish down here quite a bit in different tournaments you've been fishing my trail for a while now uh, what was your main pattern today Buzzbait. Buzzbait. Mm -hmm. yep. top, top water. That's top always water. fun. Yep. I never could win a tournament on buzzbaits, but y'all did it. Yep. Um, did y'all catch anything else? Uh, any fish or any other kind of bait? Was it all buzzbait? We caught a few on Senko, a few a on, on spinnerbait. Spinner uh, right. Most of them on buzzbait. All right. How many times do you think y'all caught it? Five or six. That's not bad. This place is yeah. going for a lot of small fish and it takes a long time to cut yeah. up sometimes, but almost 15 pounds is a good bag. Congratulations, guys. It's a you. wonderful yep. job. Yep. Keep up Thank the good you. work. Thank you. All right, today we got the winners of today's tournament uh, here on the Pamico and Tar Rivers. Robert Nanny and Trey Nanny, they're from Wilson, the father and son team has been fishing some of my trails for, for years now. They had a nice bag, 18.14 pounds. That was a great limit today, guys. Tell me a little bit about your day. How did you get on these fish? Go ahead. Look. Look. Well, look, we, look we, helps. We pulled in on our first area and never had a bite. We went to go, we were gonna make a move and we decided to pull in on just the area we've always fished and it turned on in a hurry. Yeah, we just went fishing. Same thing we did last last Saturday, we did about the same thing. Just fish hard and come up with 18 yeah, pounds. Well, we, we, we might have burnt two gallons of yeah, gas. We, we didn't burn any gas, we just kept the trolling motor down and got lucky. Well, did you have any one particular pattern today or did you have a lot of different baits that work for you? Worm and jig. Worm and jig all day. Worm and jig, standard, standard tools of the trade. There you go, especially when they're on the beds. Well, what'd you catch a big fish on today? Yeah, it was pretty even split between the worm and the jig. We just sort of bounced back and forth. Yeah, we both caught fish all day. You know, just About had to catch the right ones. 
Well, great job, guys. Congratulations again. Glad y'all fished with us. That was a great catch down here in the Pearl and Pound Cup. Thank you, sir. Thank <laughs> you.